As we are in our seated pose, may we all flow into our cow face legs. Just relax. If we're able to go into a cow face legs, otherwise we can stay into an easy seat. Whatever seated position feels good for you, may you take that seat. Just using this time to just take a moment to reflect on relaxing the mind and the body. Our tummies are tucked in nice and tight. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we're not sunken down. Keeping that nice elongated spine helps with lower back pain. As we relax those shoulders downward away from our ears, a lot of times we sit in tension with our shoulders shrugged. Just being mindful to relax those shoulders down helps relax and soothe the mind and body, helps relax and soothe neck pain and shoulder pain. Taking a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we slightly gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, if that feels good for us. Breathing our palms at heart center, coming into that prayer hands. Using this time to reflect, going inward. Noticing what's going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment. Simply being aware, without judgment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. Once again, taking notice, being aware. Five breaths of silence. Three breaths. Exhale. Flowing our hands to our seated star, bringing our palms outward towards the side. Our heart chakras open, our chin is up. Gazing those eyes downward or closing those eyes. Here in our star, we are feeling strong. We are feeling powerful. We are light in our life. We are the light at the end of our tunnel. We are always the way, the power, the strength, the source is always within. We are that star. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Taking that nice, deep, intentional breath in. Feeling that air. Exhale, twisting the body towards the right. Palms come downward, gazing over that right shoulder. Seated twist. Feeling that spinal cord relax and soothe. Decompressing. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that star. Chin up, heart chakras open, breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the left, palms come downward, gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal cord relax and soothe. We are decompressing here. Allowing those eyes to gaze down to close. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale them back to center, coming into that star. Palms are out towards the side. As we breathe our palms together, coming into that extended mountain, breathing our palms up in the air, up in the air, not together. Extended mountain. Just taking a moment to notice when our palms are outward towards the side, that is called the seated star. Breathing our palms above our head, but not together, that is that seated extended mountain. Just taking a moment to notice the difference between the two poses. As we breathe our palms together, now we're in that seated salute. Palms together, we are in that seated salute. Exhaling our palms down that heart center, coming back into that seated prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward, away from the ears. Just taking a moment to check in. Three breaths. 
Two breaths. Feeling the body relax. We're going to uncross our legs coming into our hands and our knees coming into that tabletop pose. Just for a second, we're going to drop down to that cow. Tummy comes down towards the earth, chin slightly up. Noticing how this feels in your lumbar spine, your lower back. This cow pose is great for low back pain. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, tucking our tummy in at our navel. Spinal cord flows up towards the heaven. Chin comes to clavicle. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pause at center, coming into that tabletop pose as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Optioning to walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. And our down dog, this is a stretching pose. We're also building strength in our upper parts of our bodies, our shoulders, our back blades. We're going to find pause. Tummies are nice and tight. We're going to shift that weight forward, coming into that high plank. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to down dog. Gaze it at the feet. <sighs> Walking our feet towards our hands. Complete forward fold. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch, allowing the body to relax and soothe. You may feel that stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. <sighs> Taking that nice deep breath. Exhale. Still in a moment here. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to a half forward fold. Backs are straight. Gaze forward. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. Exhaling back down to a complete forward fold. Optioning to flow into a rag doll. Connecting our hands to our elbows. Widening those legs as much as it feels comfortable for you here in our rag doll. We can option to rock or sway that body from side to side. Noticing that when we rock and sway, we may feel that stretch behind our legs a little deeper in our hamstrings. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale up to a half forward fold. We are nice and wide legged here. Coming up to our Tadasana, keeping our legs nice and wide. We're going to breathe our palms out towards the side. We are now in that standing star. Palms are out towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Here in our standing star, we are feeling nice and strong. We are powerful with our feet grounded to the earth. For we are grounded. We know our way. We know our path. Keeping in mind that we are our star, we are our light. The power always comes from within. Two more breaths. We're going to hold this star pose. We're going to bend our knees, coming into cactus hands. We are nailing that goddess, God stance. For we are the gods and goddesses in our lives. We are in this goddess stance, God stance. Feeling strong, feeling powerful. This goddess stance, God stance, builds legs, builds strength in the lower parts of the body. Still in those quads work, filling the gluteus maximus and the calves working here. We can option to rock that body from side to side, working those leg muscles. Or we can option to pulse up and down, keeping those abdominals nice and tight. We also, we also can stay still and pause. Whatever feels best for you, four more breaths. Two breaths, feeling a burn. Finding our pause at center. Exhale up to that standing star, straightening our legs, breathing our palms out towards the side. Heart chakras opened, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. 
exhale. Two more breaths. Exhale and back down to that goddess, God stance. Working the lower parts of our bodies, going down as low as we can. We want to feel that burn here. We want to take our bodies to new levels if we are able. Listening to your body, being mindful that my voice is just a guide, doing what feels best for you. Goddess stance, if that feels good for you. Optioning to pulse or rock the body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to a wide-legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the feet, to the ankles, or to the earth. <sighs> Taking that nice deep breath. Exhale. Mm. This is a relaxing and soothing pose here. We are lengthening. We are stretching. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our left hand to our right ankle, breathing that left hand to right ankle, we're gonna wrap this right hand behind our backs. How we doing our thread the needle as we gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling that wide-legged spinal twist, allowing that body to soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, wide-legged forward fold. Slightly gazing forward, maybe we're on our fingertips, backs are straight. Tummies are nice and tight. Two breaths. Mm -hmm. As we breathe this right hand to those left ankles, right hand to left ankle, wrapping that left arm around our backs, how we doing our thread the needle, gazing over that left shoulder. We are in that wide-legged spinal twist, opposite side. Feeling the body relaxing, allowing the body to relax here. Eyes are gazed down to closed. Three more breaths. Two breaths. <clears throat> Exhaling back to center. We're going to walk our hands forward, breathing our legs together, down dog, gazing at the feet. Tummies are nice and tucked. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding that pause, shifting our weight forward, high plank, building strength, upper parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. Exhale, back down dog. As we breathe our right foot to our right hand, runner's lunge. Straightening that leg, coming into that pyramid pose. Torso relaxes over that thigh. We are in that pyramid. <sighs> Head melts downward towards that knee, feeling that stretch. We are lengthening our bodies here. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling back to runner's lunge, bending that knee. Exhale back down dog, gazing at the feet. Shifting that weight forward, high plank. Exhale, back down dog, gazing at the feet. As we breathe that left foot forward, coming into that runner's lunge, just for a second. We're gonna straighten that leg, coming into a pyramid. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head comes down towards that knee, feeling that stretch. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Feeling that body relax and soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Bending that front knee, coming back to that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. 
As we walk our dog, we're going to pedal those feet left and right, keeping that tummy nice and tight. We're going to find that pause as we extend that right leg towards the back, three-legged dog, gazing at the foot. As we breathe that right knee to that right elbow or right elbow to right knee, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Exhale into down dog. We're gonna drop onto our forearms coming into a dolphin pose. Buttocks is high in the air, gaze back at the back of the room. Here in this dolphin pose, we are allowing the body and the mind to relax and soothe. We are also building strength in the upper parts of our bodies and our shoulders and our back blades. This dolphin is an inversion. It also prepares the mind and body for headstand. We can option if we choose to walk our feet closer towards our bodies, noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. Preparing that body for headstand only if we choose three more breaths. Two breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're going to come into a puppy pose. Keeping that buttocks high in the air. That heart, chest comes downward towards the earth. Here in this puppy pose, you'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Allowing those shoulders to relax, to melt forward. Maybe that third eye chakra, your forehead is connected to the yoga mat. Connected to the earth. Keeping those eyes gaze down to close. Using this puppy pose to relax and soothe. Going inward. Checking in with the mind and body. Noticing how we feel in our present moment, simply being aware, taking heed of the moment. Silent meditation, six natural breaths. Three breaths. Holding that puppy pose, our arms are extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. This is called an extended puppy pose. Two more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to do a couple of spinal waves. Using our palms to wave that torso, that body forward. And using our palms, our hips to rotate our buttocks towards our heels. Spinal wave in that body here. Feeling emotion. Feeling that spinal cord. Relax and soothe. Optioning to allow your neck to also flow into that spinal wave. Like you're using your neck to build up that momentum. Feeling that complete spinal cord rotation here or flexation here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we find our pause at table, palms are flat on the earth, knees are hip distance apart, dropping down to that cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to that table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at the feet. As we breathe that left leg up in the air, three-legged dog opposite side, gazing back at that foot. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Mm. Exhale, down dog. 
As we breathe our right foot to our right hand, we're going to come up to a warrior two. Building balance, building strength here. <clears throat> Bending that knee. Coming down as low as you feel comfortable. We can place our palms upwards towards the heavens or we can place our palms downward. Whatever feels best for you. Allowing that body to soothe. Two more breaths. Twisting that body forward, warrior one, or high lunge. Warrior one, we twist that body forward. High lunge, we twist that back leg forward. They look very similar, but they're not the same. Two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Crossing that right arm over that right thigh, lifting that left arm up in the air. Extended side angle. <sighs> we can also wrap this left arm around our backs if that feels good and gaze over that left shoulder. <sighs> Two more breaths. If our arm is extended up in the air, let's wrap that left arm around our backs here. <sighs> gazing over that left shoulder, just feeling that twist. <sighs> Slightly gazing up at the heavens. <sighs> we're gonna hold this pose. We're gonna take this right arm that's crossed over our leg. We're gonna place this right hand downward towards our ankle and straightening that leg. <sighs> Extending that left arm up in the air, flowing into that triangle, optioning to use a yoga block if that feels good for you. <sighs> Balancing the mind and the body, feeling a stretch. Three more breaths. <clears throat> Two breaths. <sighs> Holding this triangle, we're going to relax that arm down. Twisting that body forward, coming back into that pyramid pose. Straightening that leg. Positioning our bodies to feel comfortable. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head comes downward towards that knee. Three breaths. Mm. Two breaths. Bending that knee, coming to that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we breathe, that left foot to that left hand, runner's lunge opposite side. We're gonna flow on up to that warrior two. Let's bring that body up. <sighs> hands to the front, hands to the back, lowering that leg down as you possibly can. Feeling comfortable for you. Palms can be down, palms could be up. Whatever feels good for your body. <sighs> Two more breaths. We're going to hold this pose as we twist our bodies forward, coming into that warrior one or high lunge. Remember in warrior one, we keep that same position. We just twist that body forward, palms come up. If we flow into the high lunge, we are going to slightly twist that back leg forward. Now we're in that high lunge. See that high lunge? or warrior one. Two more breaths. <laughs> Exhale back to warrior two. Allowing those shoulders to relax down, chin slightly up. As we cross this left hand over that left thigh, breathe in that right arm up in the air, extended side angle. We can gaze up at the heavens if that feels good. <sighs> Feeling that stretch. We can also option to wrap this right arm around our backs like we're doing that thread the needle as we gaze over that right shoulder. <sighs> Two more breaths.
If we're in that extended side angle, we're going to wrap this right arm around our backs. <sighs> Gazing over those right shoulder. We're going to straighten this front leg and we're going to allow this left hand to come down to our ankle. We're going to extend that right arm up in the air. Triangle pose, opposite side, using that yoga block if that feels good. <sighs> Tummies are tight, stretching and lengthening here. Two more breaths. Relaxing this right arm, twisting that body forward, straightening that front leg back into that pyramid pose. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head flows over that knee. Allowing those shoulder blades to completely relax forward. Taking a nice breath. Exhale, feeling your body relax over your thigh. Your heartbeat is connecting to your thigh. Eyes are closed, two more breaths. Bending that knee, coming to that runner's lunge. Flowing back to that down dog. Gazing at the feet, tummies are tight. Dropping down to our knees, we're going to come into a child's pose. We can be wide-legged, we can be extended, child's pose. We can come into prayer hands, child's pose. We can breathe our hands towards our feet in our child's pose, whatever feels good for you. Allowing that heart chakra to connect to the earth. Their heart is connecting to the environment. Our third eye chakra, our forehead, is connected to the earth, to the yoga mat. Our shoulders are completely melted forward. Our eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed, allowing us to go inward, focusing on self, being aware of how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, being mindful of mind, body, and soul, thoughts, situations without judgment. For it is our life, and this is us and who we are. Always being kind and loving to oneself. As we relax here, silent meditation for eight natural breaths, child's pose. Mm -hmm. Three more breaths. Coming into an extended child's pose, placing those arms in front of you, palms flat on the earth. Using our palms to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose. Three spinal waves, relaxing and soothing, wakening up that body. Going nice and slow if that feels good. Mm -hmm. As we find our pause, we can flow into a hero's pose or we can come into a yogi squat or come into a seated position. Hero's pose, yogi squat, seated position, whatever pose feels good for you. We're going to come into those prayer hands no matter what pose we are in. Relaxing and soothing. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our chin is relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care and practice teaching training here today, I thank you all for joining and showing up for each other, for sharing your stories, for 
practicing your teaching skills with us. It is a delight, it is a pleasure, and I am honored to be here with you guys every week. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.